and welcome back. I have set my assistant on a task. What is your task? Uh, to not wander off and leave you at the allotment. So what we're doing here is we, ha we have, we have definitely done this together, um, we scraped all the old Fine. wood chip, let's carry on, we've scraped all the old wood chip off that path, see it was like this, and we put it in there, and now we're relaying some more cardboard. As you can see, the boys favour the brand of herbal forage from Pets at Home. <laughs> it's an old box, it's probably been in the shed a while. But you want to just take that piece and slide it down the side because you need it, you need to cover as much as possible otherwise. You just want it so it's all covered and the pieces are kept as whole as possible, otherwise they blow away. Yeah. Just do like sandwiching. Yeah. sandwiching. yeah, it's especially important up that end because that's where the couch grass is. Mm -hmm. And if you put enough wood chip down, it should be fine. Yeah. Put those bricks up there. That's where they came from anyway. For now. And then I'll... Well, no, I always have a few bricks. You see over there, there's a brick border. Yeah. This is, this is why she can't trust me on my, on my own now. Well, I have a specific way of doing things and it's usually a way that I like because it doesn't cause me future annoyance. So if you go and get a tub of wood chip, which is in the greenhouse. You can just get the top one, doesn't matter which. Okay. Yeah, just put it down. At, yeah, at that far end. Just tip it straight off. See, it has been in the greenhouse and has been decomposing a little bit. This is where a rake would be very handy, obviously. You want it a nice thick layer. Uh, we're not going to have enough with all... We're not going to have enough with the cardboard as it is because <laughs> it need it needs to be so that it's below the so it's not too high up the wood but it, it can't be too thick a layer because we don't have enough and also yeah we don't want it too far up the sides so Do you want to stand on that? Yep. Other side? Because that's the bit that's going up. Move your foot. How's that problem? And then we're just going to do that all the way along. Put in maybe about an inch because it doesn't need too much. It just keeps the weeds there. Just resting on my new fork. I've not got my address on that anywhere. No, I think we got it all. Then obviously this will just decompose over next year, over next year, won't it? Yeah, this de it takes a few weeks, but you do need wood chip, otherwise it gets a little compost or something on top of your cardboard, otherwise it flies away everywhere and annoys you. I mean, you could possibly get away with that as long as you're careful to wood chip up the edges. Maybe we could try it like that this year. Do you want me to put these side pieces down? Or? I took them under, to be honest, because then they're not going to blow away. It's not going to go flush because there you need to do a little cut out. But you could just leave it like that, it seems fine. Uh, do you want to maybe put another more wood chips, see how much we need? The one to the right. The reason I'm just sort of like filming at the moment and not actually doing any work is because I just dug this over. By which I mean I shunted it to the sides just a little bit and then um, <laughs> decided I was done and then went dandelion chasing and weed chasing. Just but I want to save my energy for the weekend. 
So this is just a little sample, isn't it? We need to sort of like, if I can need to conserve my energy and just issue instructions. You could probably just dump it straight up. You see it's already started to decompose. Whoa! One, the warmth off that. Two, look at the worms. This has just been sat in there. No wonder it makes such a good hotbed. Yeah. Come on, wormies. I'm sorry. I'm gonna... I know the worms are usually a special composting type of worm, I think. So if I put these in the compost... Really? Anyone who knows the worms? I know there's a type called that people refer to as red wigglers. <laughs> There's definitely a but there's different types of worms. Some are some are, are ground and some are composting. And the fact that they're in the bottom of there means they're probably composting Where worms, else? aren't they? I'm going to put these in my. Can you? Cut, sorry to disturb you, but I think it's important that these go in the compost. Can you help me? Because I have no hands. Oh, look! I know a hawk. Well, they're ignoring that fork. Hopefully they'll like it in here. Here we are. Here. There we are. Bye bye worms. Go back to the wood chip. You might need to lay a, yeah, because this will do all the way to the end and then some, I think. Yeah, so I might need to layer the last bit of the cardboard. Yeah, where are you going? Just the end. I don't want to waste the whole box just the end. Okay. Oh yeah, is it itty bitty? Is it itty bitty one? Is it any, well, I can make it up to be a bit bigger. It's a teensy weensy one. That'll do. <laughs> I would overlap it because it goes wider up that end. Shuffle, 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 shuffle,